What's going on, world? Eric Lawton here from Battlebred Canines, the channel dedicated to the working dogs we all know and love. And today, I want to talk about the Fila Brasileiro. If this is your first time here, be sure to stomp on that like button and subscribe for more free content. Also, feel free to visit BattlebreadK9s.com for updates and free downloadable content. So the Fila Brasileiro, or the Brazilian Mastiff, is a large working type dog that was developed in Brazil, duh, and primarily bred and raised on large plantations and cattle farms. One theory of origin is that the Fila is a combination between the English Mastiff, the Bloodhound, and the Old Bulldog of the 15th century. Another theory is that the Fila is the result of crossbreedings between the Portuguese and Spanish dogs that were brought to Brazil during the Iberian Union period. This breed is known for its amazing tracking abilities, extreme aggressiveness, and an unforgiving, impetuous temperament. In most cases, instead of attacking its prey, the Fila traps it and waits for the hunter to arrive. Because of these qualities, the Fila Brasileiro is often used as a guard dog, a cattle dog for livestock, and a hunting dog for tracking and controlling large game. The first written standard of the breed was edited in 1946. The Paulistas were responsible for organizing a planned breeding program and opening a stud book to register dogs. Dr. Paulo Santos Cruz began to systematically breed the Fila Brasileiro and also contributed largely in setting the Fila Brasileiro Enhancement Club standard and now, therefore, has the right to be called the father of the Fila Brasileiro. Now, the Brazilian Confederation Kennel Club follows the FCI policy and only accepts dogs with FCI pedigrees for registration, requiring the breeders to have hip and joint screenings as well as other types of testing to ensure quality breeding stock. The Fila Brasileiro is described as a Brazilian Mastiff or Brazilian Molosser. In the US, the OFA, Orthopedic Foundation for Animals, does a statistical registry of all Filas that were x-rayed to diagnose hip dysplasia. In Brazil, the breed has two main standards imposed by two distinct clubs, the Brazilian Confederation of Cinephilia affiliated with the FCI, and the Fila Brasileiro's Enhancement Club or CAFIB. Consequently, the stock of each club has visible morphological differences. The CAFIB standard was constructed based on the ancient phenotype of the breed, but the current CBKC FCI standard is best known internationally. The Fila Brasileiro is a Molosser breed with large bones and loose skin. The FCI breed standard requires males to be between 25.5 inches to 29.5 inches high at the withers and weigh between 110 to 181. Females are slightly smaller and are expected to be between 23.5 inches to 27.5 inches high at the withers and weigh at least 90 pounds. They have a rectangular build and though they are massive, their natural agility is apparent. The head is big and heavy with a deep muzzle. The ears are large, thick, tapered and either droop or fold back exposing the interior depending on the dog's mood. The neck and back are well muscled and the chest is broad and deep. Unlike the vast majority of canines, the croup is higher than the withers. The legs are heavily boned. The skin is very distinctive of the breed as it is thick and loose all over the body, mainly in the region around the neck. The thick skin forms pronounced dewlaps. In many individuals, the dewlaps proceed to the chest and abdomen. Some dogs show a fold at the side of the head and also at the withers descending to the shoulders. The coat is short and dense and the texture is normally smooth and soft. Their color varies from solid brindle, mouse gray, patched, dappled, or black and tan. They are mostly never white. Typical colors are fawn, black, and brindle. Sometimes a black mask is present. The CAFIB standard, however, does not accept black, mouse gray, black and tan, blue, or dappled as it considers it a sign of crossbreeding. On the other hand, it does accept dogs with large white marks on any part of the body. Though large in size, the Fila does not appear static, rather it's harmonious, cat-like, and above all, powerful. The Fila appears self-assured and calm, but is never absent in expression. When at attention, the gaze of the Fila Brasileiro is firm, alert, and unwavering. 
Another typical characteristic of this breed is its gait, which is similar to that of a camel, moving two legs of one side at a time. The head is typically lower than the back line. The characteristic carriage and gait has earned a great success in dog shows. I personally would never recommend a Fila Brasileiro to an inexperienced dog handler. They could be a handful and even dangerous in the wrong hands. So that about wraps it up for the Fila Brasileiro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to stomp on that like button and subscribe for more free content. Again, feel free to visit BattlebreakK9s.com for updates and free downloadable content. Also, if you wouldn't mind giving this a share on Facebook to help spread this information. I will see you guys next week. I love you all. God bless.